want to say thank you for even coming to my channel. It means a lot and I hope I can keep you guys happy enough to subscribe and yeah. Today I'm going to be doing a review about something that I've been using for a few years now and I've actually never done a review and I have a lot of people asking me about and where I got it from and how to do things and if they're good and that is my hair. My hair is fake and um, what I use are clip-in extensions. The extensions I use are from Foxy Locks Hair Extensions. I actually found out about Foxy Locks Hair Extensions through YouTube. There's a girl on here named Imogen who has her own channel and she is absolutely stunning. And I will link her I will link her channel below so you can go check her out. She also does tutorials on hair, also makeup, and she shows you all the different shades of her extensions and she shows you how to do things with her hair extensions, which is really good because you don't really find a company that actually has um, a YouTube channel where you can just go to and um, watch all the information about them, which is really, really good. So from there I found her website and um, yeah, I purchased my hair extensions from there. If you can't decide what color actually matches your hair and you're tossing up between, you know, is it this color or is it that color? Or wait, that kind of color looks kind of similar. Then all you have to do is email a picture of your hair right now to Foxy Locks. They have an email address there. Just email them a picture of your hair and they will email you back with a color that will match you. And that's what I did when I was brunette. I didn't know what um, color to get because two colors look really, really similar and one was lighter and one was darker. But to me, they were really similar and I didn't know which way to go. So all I did was email a picture of my hair to them. And the lady got back to me within a few days and um, told me, that's your color. So that's the color I got and um, it was the perfect shade. So that's really, really good, good customer um, support, I guess. Anyway, but I'm blonde now, so. So yeah, I've been using Foxy Locks for about two or three years now. Foxy Locks Hair Extensions is 100% human Remy hair. For those of you who don't know what Remy hair means, Remy means cuticle correct. It is the finest quality of human hair because the cuticles are kept intact and not stripped. It is hand-picked and aligned so that every single strand runs in the same direction as it grows from the scalp. Because they are human Remy hair, they can be curled, straightened, and you can commonly treat them, which means you can perm and dye them. Just like normal hair though, um, you need to look after it. And that's how it will last. If you're going to bleach your hair, go to a professional hairdresser and get them to do it. Because even trying to bleach your own hair at home, half the time it fails and um, you don't want to muck around when it comes to bleach. And it's really, really damaging. So just like your normal hair, bleach will damage hair extensions just like it will damage your normal hair. And like everyone know, it's easier to darken your hair than to lighten. So are they good for my hair? Do they fill my hair? And are they a good length? Well, Foxy Deluxe Hair Extensions comes in three different sets. So you have three different options. There is 125 grams, which is more for length and just a little bit of volume. Then you got 165 grams. And that's if you're looking for lots of volume and length. Then you have 250 grams, which is for more thicker hair. And it comes with a, um, a volumizer, which just creates um, just more hair, basically. For me, I use the 165 Deluxe set and it is perfect for my hair. I wouldn't grow any, um, I wouldn't grow any less grams because I want volume and I want length. I don't just want length, you know. I want to um, add more hair. So that's the one I chose for me, but everybody's different and um, it's totally up to what you prefer. The color I chose was Platinum Blonde and that's number 90. So I ordered Platinum Blonde number 90 in 165 Deluxe. My hair extensions are 20 inches and it is a 10 piece full set, whereas the the superior, I'm pretty sure, is 11 piece because it has a volumizer. So I get two pieces with four clips on each one. And I get two pieces with three clips on each one. I also get two pieces with um, two clips on each one for the sides. Then I get four pieces um, with one clip. So I can just put them wherever I want, whether it be the front or I need to add one here or right now I actually have none of them ones in. So 
this isn't actually all the hair. I, I still have four pieces off um, one clip. It's really, really confusing when you say it like that, but hopefully you can hear what I'm talking about. So once you order Foxy Locks, they tend to take between two weeks, depending on where you live. I live in Australia, so I guess that's why it takes a little bit longer. But to me, that's pretty fast considering they come from the UK and um, yeah, and they come really, really fast to me. One time it did take three weeks because I ordered um, near the Christmas time, but that's totally understandable considering um, Christmas time is a very busy time of the year and things can take like almost a month to get to you. So um, I knew what I was in for when I was buying, but um, that only happened once and I've ordered about four times from Foxy Locks, Harrison. And I've ordered four times from Foxy Locks and they've only taken under two weeks. I'm pretty sure one only took one and a half weeks. Once your Foxy Locks hair extensions arrive, you do this. Yep, you do that. And once um, they're in your pretty little hands, they come in a cute pink um, plastic bag. You open them up and then it's got your invoice in there saying what you brought and um, how much they cost, where they're from, and yeah, just a normal invoice, nothing special. Then um, your hair extensions are in this thing here. Obviously I've taken them out to wear them at the front of it. It just says it's 100% Remy Human Hair at length, volume and style in only a few minutes. Tangle free, silky soft, natural hair. Style is the Deluxe 20 Clipping Extensions in color 90. And then on the back is the gorgeous Imogen. It has some information on caring for your hair, new hair extensions on the back. So if you want to read that, um, you can. Or if you want to go watch her videos and she kind of tells you... Um, how to do it through her videos and you can also go do that as well um, so I'll read what it says on the back so you know it says treat them just like your own hair but better always use a heat protection spray when using hot tools brush gently before and after wearing and washing wash in lukewarm water only nourishing shampoo and conditioner it's thoroughly you should only need to do this every few weeks so um yeah, that's all that comes in the bag. The first thing I recommend once getting your hair extensions is taking them straight to the hairdresser because the worst thing is seeing girls walk around with hair extensions that haven't been cut and haven't been shaped to match their hair. And if your hair is short like mine is, my natural hair is only up to here. So basically where my necklace is, is my natural hair. Imagine if I just got my hair extensions and clipped them in and they're like full long and then I've just got this straight hair here. Everyone would know that I'm wearing clipping extensions and you don't want anyone to know that you're wearing hair extensions. You want people to think that that's your natural hair. And getting them shaped, um, laid in with your layers or just blended in with your natural hair will make your hair look a million times better. Also if the colour does come back and um, it's not really your shade, take them to a hairdresser and get your hairdresser to colour them how um, your hair is coloured now. So I have two clips here, one which has been cut and one which hasn't. The one that has been cut and the one that hasn't. So if I put them next to each other, I can tell how long that's going. But I wanted them to blend in with my hair and not look so fake. So I got them cut and um, I didn't need the extra two pieces, so I didn't get them once cut. So this is what they look like from the front. I've curled them now. They're a little bit longer once they're straight. Of course, when you curl, it lifts up the hair. So I'll show you what they look like from behind. And they are past... Um, my belly button, or they're right up the top of my belly button. So like I said, my hair extensions have been blended in to match my own hair. If I didn't, they would be 
super duper long. They'll be longer than how they are now. Once you learn how to put in, once you learn how to put in extensions, it's really really easy and really really simple. It takes like five minutes to put them in and under a minute to take them out. Honestly, like I can get my hair extensions out in like ten seconds. Not even kidding. I'm pretty fast at it. Um, but yeah. Once you know how to put your extensions in, you cannot tell that you're wearing them. You hide the clips with your natural hair and then you just lay them down. So that is, they're pretty easy to stick in. I will make another video on how to put hair extensions in. But for now, all you have to do is get your clips and you start from three clips down the bottom and you work your way up to the top with the four clips. Now there's two different four clips. One four clip is smaller than the other. Just measure them and you put the smallest four clips next then the next four clips up the top then the other three clips you stick up the top so it goes three four four three then we move over to the sides now there's two two there's two two clips which you can stick on the side and um so they both go here and then you've got four one clips and then you can put them wherever you want if you have a little spot here where you need more hair or a little spot here where you need more hair usually i would stick two at the front of my hair but right now i don't need to most clipping hair extensions that I know have just a stainless steel clip on them. But Foxy Locks actually have um, the stainless steel with the rubber over the top of and they are very, very easy to use. The colour I ordered for my hair was the absolute perfect shade that I could have got. Number 90 um, blended in with my hair so well. I haven't even um, toned my hair extensions at all. Usually I would use a purple shampoo to train them and because most blonde hair extensions, if you go anywhere, they'll have yellow, brassy, unwanted trains in them and you just don't want that. Like, like, you just don't want yellow hair unless you want yellow hair. Okay, to washing hair extensions. Most people actually don't know how to wash hair extensions and it is a lot of confusion to most people. Okay, so when you wash your hair, please go to the shop first, go to a hairdresser or wherever and please buy a sulfate free shampoo and not many people really understand what sulfate is. Sulfate free is also known as SLS free and ALS free. Sulfate free shampoo will keep your hair healthier, stronger, shinier and won't chemically strip your hair. Most of hair products that we frequently use on a day to day basis contain chemical ingredients that can actually damage our hair which also leads to moisture loss and can cause colour treated hair to lose colour quickly. What I found to be a pretty good um, sulfate free um, shampoo was as the CPR product. What's the point of buying? What's the point of buying hair extensions if you're not going to treat them properly, look after them properly, and it's really the same with your natural hair? Would, you'd actually want to use sulfate-free products on your natural hair more than anything because that's your hair and that's who you are. So look after it. So when you wash your hair, use the sulfate-free shampoo and then treat your hair all the time. Every single time you wash it treat your hair and if you want these people to wash your hair um, a few times a week which with extensions you really don't need to wash them that often at all but when you do wash your hair at least every few weeks um, treat your hair using a moisture and um, that will really really help your hair stay soft and shiny and just basically keep it intact just like your normal hair you should be treating your normal hair anyway so like I said like I said before um, you need to treat these as you would your real hair and if you treat your real hair like shit your hair extensions are gonna go shit so look after them if you're gonna pay money for them and um, and if you want longer hair then you really need to put in the work and the effort and it's not that it's not that hard with clipping extensions at all to put in the effort you clip them in you take them out you wash them and that's it and when it comes to drying them you don't use a hair dryer on them you can but you, it's not really recommended to use a hair dryer because that's just more heat when you don't need to. Um, what I do is I wash them and I leave them um, on the bathtub. I leave them on the floor or I'll lie at a towel and I'll put each um, strip on the towel and um, and I would leave them to dry overnight. So yeah, I would usually wash them at night time and just leave them overnight. Sometimes what I will do is I will half dry them and be like, because uh, I want them to be soft and I like when you hair dry them I feel like they're softer so I will make them half dry where they're they're just damp and then I'll get my hair dryer and it'll take like two seconds to dry them so when you curl and you straighten them and you do whatever with, with any heat product at all make sure you use a heat protector spray because 
heat is damaging to your hair. Everyone should know that. For your natural hair, you should be using a heat protector. For hair extensions, you should be using a heat protector. Um, so what I've been using is my GHD um, thermal protector. It works so well on your hair. I can spray this on my arm, put the um, heat on my arm, and you can tell it works. Before that, I was using um, the De Lorenzo um, one, the thermal protector as well. I love this bottle because it's like a little... How cute is that? <laughs> to brush my hair, I use my Tingle Teaser. It, I've actually only picked up this a few months ago. It is my all-time favorite ever brush ever. It is my all-time favorite brush. Um, it's my go-to. I take this everywhere with me. It really is. A tangle teaser. Like any hair extensions, the better you look after them, the longer they will last. My Foxy Lux hair extensions can last me six months before I want a new pair. Personal choice. If I don't use heat product on them every single time that I use them, they can last me up to a year. Using the right products on them will help so much. Always make sure you are using a heat protector when you're applying any type of heat on your hair. You make sure that you use a heat protector. So because of the clipping hair extensions, they are not a permanent choice, meaning you can take them out at night and put them back in the morning. You can put them in for an hour and take them out in five minutes later if you want. What's good about clipping hair extensions is you don't have to wear them long term. They don't damage your hair as there is no heat, no glue, etc, etc involved. It is just a clip and you stick it in yourself and you're done. You can wear them to add length if you want a day where you just want longer hair. Or even if you have naturally long hair, you can just wear them to add volume. And for those who are looking to spend just a little less money, they're the cheapest option. I've worn so many extensions for so many years now. I've worn um, beaded, I've worn bonded, I've worn clippings, I've worn braided. Um, and by far, my favorites are clippings and bonded hair extensions. And clippings are really, really good for if you want to have short hair and long hair and you can just change up your look whenever you want. If you're worried about length, Okay, so hair extensions usually come in this type of length, sometimes 18 inches, sometimes 20 inches, sometimes 24 inches, and even if you get 18 inches, which is like, like this I'm guessing, even if you get 18 inches and you're like, that's still too long and you just want to add volume in your hair and you don't really want to add length, you just get them cut. You can get your hair extensions cut up to here if you want to and you will still have that volume in your hair. You can get them cut up to here, you can keep your length and just um, blend them in with your hair by getting them shaped. Um, it's totally up to you what you do with them. You can cut them any way you like. Just go to a hairdresser that is comfortable with cutting hair extensions. I have been to a hairdresser before where they have said to me, we don't cut hair extensions and I'm thinking, why wouldn't you cut hair extensions? They're in my hair and you should know how to cut hair extensions. But they really didn't feel comfortable in cutting my hair and since they weren't comfortable cutting my hair, I was certainly not comfortable with them cutting my hair. So you make sure you do a hairdresser that is comfortable enough to cut hair extensions and make sure they don't cut your real hair because once you take your hair extensions out, you don't want your hair to be looking weird because of their mistake. So make sure you find a hairdresser that you're comfortable with. So basically my opinion of Foxy Locks hair extension is they're amazing. I will keep repurchasing. I will tell all my friends to buy these clipping extensions and they're super duper thick even though these are only the middle set. They're super duper thick. Like look at all that hair. I have shot for hair extensions so many times. I've used so many different clipping extensions and they're all yucky and they're tangly and they lose so much hair and um, yeah they're just really really not nice and they look really really yucky. That's why you have to do your research and you shop around and you experiment and you, you find what suits you. So when it comes to the price, everywhere it's different because um, their prices are in UK so um, if you're in America you're going to be paying different from what we are in Australia. Well I'm from Australia and I pay about $130 for them, um, I think it's like $78 UK but in Australia it's like $128. Then on top is postage, so that's an extra $10, $15. All up I pay under $150, so between $140 and $150 for hair extensions that come from the UK 
they come in two weeks so it's pretty amazing they're just they're such good quality hair they last so long I can curl I can straighten them I can do whatever I want them they're, they're my color for starters they they match my hair I always get compliments on my hair all the time um, seeing how pretty it is and um, how well how well I done my hair or they like my hair and it's not even my real hair it's my Foxy Locks extensions so bravo to them and you should definitely go check out Imogen from Foxy Locks hair extensions here on YouTube because she is amazing and she does a lot of tutorials and she's just really really pretty and you can just stare at her hair all day like she has amazing hair so if you love hair just go there and just stare at her hair so I think that's everything that I included in my um, video. I try to talk about other things besides how I like them, just so you can understand a bit more about the clip inside of extensions. I just want to say that in no way am I sponsored. Foxy Locks did not send me these for free at all. Um, I paid with them for my own money. I researched them myself and I ordered them myself. And to be honest, I bought Foxy Locks extensions before I even um, started making my own um, YouTube videos. So. This is all my own, this is my own opinion and um, and anyway, it's, it's all good things. Anyway, I absolutely love Foxy Logs hair extensions. As always, have a beautiful day or night, wherever you may be. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like this video. So, until next time, bye!